on the internet sure. when people be talking about um man i ain't I, ain't no 50 50 on bills and all this whatever whatever they got to say about whatever and it seems like like first of all this sister kendra g got a show she has the degenerates of the nation on her show i don't know who she is. i don't know who yeah i don't either Kendra G is a girl who basically started doing what the dude they call the Godfather used to do. What's the brother name? Kevin there Samuels Thanks, used to have a show. We've seen a whole bunch of variations of his show. Kendra G is a woman who was on Kevin Samuels show making a fool out of herself, to be quite honest. Oh, really? Wow. He, he was trying to talk to her and give her the game. She rejected all of it, and now she's doing his show. This is a fact. I'm not lying. And the women that come on this show is the truest proof of degeneracy in this country you will ever see. You should see these girls on there dead serious in their mind talking about, I'm an 8, I'm a 9, I'm a 10. And they come on the show, they get a plethora of children and baby daddy leakage from their body. Uh-oh, not the leakage. Corey Hogan about to say something bad. Get this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Kendra G, has she become Kevin Samuels? Corey seems to think she has. Let's see what else he got to say. And they want the world. They want the whole world. They want you to be making at least $90,000 a year. <laughs> these are, these, I'm talking about, these are degenerates who get in airtime. They said she's even getting tired of them, the people she has on her show. <laughs> Somebody just said that. I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, yo, what, what is going on in this world where so many beautiful people have used their beauty to move and and go about the world, but they got nothing to show for it. And the people who do got something to show for it is ill-gotten gains. Hey, no lies told right there. So, I mean, Kendra G, do you really believe she's become like Kevin Samuels or the Kevin Samuels show? I mean, think about it, though. It's a void in the marketplace. If this guy was getting millions of views every time he breathed on a mic, shout out to the Godfather, by the way. Rest his soul. But he was getting millions of views and nobody's doing it. Why not jump on it? Even though she was actually doing the opposite before that. She didn't believe it. As a matter of fact, let me show you. I will say this. Um, I'm, I'm 41, right? So when I listen to the women, when I was in the 30s, when I had the girls from up here, they remind me of myself because I was like, he got to have a lot of money. Um, he got to take care of all the bills. That's what I was on. And I running those, those circles but what i've learned is a lot of those men just couldn't be faithful so then i learned well that's my deal breaker faithfulness is my deal breaker so, so i've been blessed so my, 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 my the question i have then okay. is because i hear what you're saying but then i also like yeah uh that sounds good okay because uh you 41 years old married any kids nope i froze my eggs though so i got a safety net just in case so, so you you're accustomed to a certain standard of life this is true uh and if a man is making the median of what a black man is making forty two thousand five, he can't afford your standard of life so is that my problem uh see that no it's it's the reality of the world see what happens far too often especially in our communities black women wait too long to get married you wait till you're too old you wait till you have too much experience and your your experience and your income has gone up and that is inversely proportional to your sexual marketplace value. So can I speak to that? So let me I, let me finish okay. making the example because okay. I hear women come on and say, you know what, that high value thing, I really don't want that because I don't want to have to share him. All right, but then are you going to be able to look at a man making $45,000 a year and respect him to the same level that a high value man would be respected. 
Um, I would respect a man who's hardworking and as long as he doesn't try to minimize me in any way. Now that's that's the biggest thing. If, if he's okay with me being my full self, you didn't answer whether or not you respect him. Time out. So you're telling me we went from oh, cheating is my number one thing to oh no, you can't be little or make me feel smaller than I am. Which one is it, KG? Get to the same level you expect the high value man. Well, let me tell you this. I'm going to say yes, only because I'm going to tell you this. I've dated high value men. I've dated the men with the Rolls Royces and all the cars and all the glitz and glamour. Mm -hmm. And they always thought because they had the cars and the glitz and glamour that you got to bow down to them. And I get I get it. But I'm so, talking about the man who's working at the post office. I would say, now, I'm going to tell you my requirements. I want you to be attractive. So if you're a guy that's working at the post office and you're attractive and you... Hold on, let me time out, time out. Yeah, we're going to stop that right there. Just like Corey just said a few moments ago, they want everything. You got to make a bunch of money. You got to be attractive. You got to be tall. You got to be all these things. And it still ain't enough. It's never going to be enough. Let's see what else Corey had to say. Where, where are the people who went out and got something in a way they could be proud of? That's it. You know, beauty is a gift. I mean, a gift is something that is voluntary. Like beauty is involuntary. You're born with beauty, so right? I'm saying, like, you can't take nothing away from somebody who's beautiful. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, a shit, man can you give me an example of a beautiful person who has something that's not ill-gotten gains? Yeah. Like, do you know a beautiful person? who has something that's not an ill-gotten game. It all happened. So that's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. So what do you think about this? Leave your comments below. Has Country G become Kevin Samuels? Has she been just like him? She fought against everything he taught against years ago in 2020, 2021, uh, you know, through the pandemic and all that. And now she's exactly saying everything he was saying. Running into the craziness. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. If you care, do what you do. Be who you be. And I will see you before you see me. <laughs> I don't know what you've been doing. You've been asleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no mother dummy. This how we.